welcome to today's meeting and i hope you gain value from this meeting okay um some of you have been asking how to use trading view on your phone and so on you cannot do technical full technical analysis using your phone with the trading view app okay if you must do the complete technical analysis you must use all the tools that trading view comes with um you definitely need a desktop or a laptop all right and then maybe if you have a tablet that can actually the one that is a bit bigger that will help go a long way okay but since um let's say 70 to 90 percent of us who are going into the crypto space um easily have access to a phone it is equally good that you follow up you can use the phone actually you can use the app the trading view app to do basic um technical analysis and use that to trade the market all right and that is what i'll be sharing with you this evening okay so when you have once you download the trading view app and then you sign off on account you may not be uh, looking the way mine is okay but whatever it is i just decided to configure use the dark team you know and then added enough coin to my watch list that's why you are seeing all of this here but i'll just walk you step by step on what you need to know here and then you determine how to be using them okay so if i pull up my drawing to here Okay, as I said earlier, this is your watch list, as you can see down here. Um, let me bring up this. This is watch list, okay? This is what is selected, as you can see here. So on the watch list here, whatever coin you add on the watch list, at a glance, once you open your trading view, it takes you to that watch list, okay? So if you want to add a trade a coin to this watch list, you need to click on this plus icon at the top here, all right? So you just click on the plus icon and you can add any coin you want to your watch list. Okay. So if I go ahead and click on that icon there, so here we can just type um, any of the coin we want. If it is BTC, USDT, um, any coin you want here. Okay. Let's say I want to add um, now the same method I'm showing you. Okay. I'm just basing my on my own search on the crypto. All right, but you can use it on, on anything at all you, you want to achieve, okay? So uh, let's say I want to search for BGB USDT, okay? So this is a big get token. You see that BGB USDT has popped up and I'll just click on it and that will be added to my watch list. And as you can see, it is showing here. Oh, big get token is actually doing great. It has hit another okay so it's trading at 19 cent right now oh this is amazing for those of you who bought this coin okay you should be um, benefiting from it who bought the big get token and my target is for this token to hit um a dollar okay if it hits a dollar that is um a, a, a lot a lot for for some of us if it hit two dollar if it even gets to ten dollar then this is one of my long-term investment anyways so even if it takes the next one or two years to hit a dollar um i'll just patiently wait for it all right so back to the business of the day so you just see that i've added that token and is on my watch list right now okay so that is how you added a coin that is how i have all of these tokens you see here added on my watch list all right so the next thing you will see here is the chart okay down here you see the chart all right so the chart is where you do the basic analysis of what you want to trade and, and so on all right this is where you add your indicator so if i go ahead and click on the chart all right by default if you open that last coin you just open okay now this is why i say you can't do full technical analysis on the phone because this is the screen you see so it means that you need to be panning you know and, and zooming up down and so on to be able to see what you want to see but basically if you have a phone if a phone is the only thing you have then you should be able to do the basic thing here, all right? So if I come back to the watch list, and let's say we want to trade BTC USDT, okay? We just go ahead and look for BTC USDT and click on it, all right? Once I click on it, I already added some indicators here. That's why you're seeing all of them here, all right? So if I don't want the indicator, once I right click here, sorry, <laughs> I'm saying right click is, um, there's no right, right click because I'm using my phone, okay? So um, 
once I click, I want to remove this, um, what's it called? All of these indicators that I added here. So I want to remove them and show you how you can add up that on your own, okay? All right, so right now I have the Chenderling um, indicator added here. If I click on it, all right, up here, or I click on this RSI here, once I click on it, this pops up, right? So if I click on the plus that icon, it will close that, okay? The same thing on this buy and sell signal um, indicator. So I just click on it and I'll close it out and that will be closed, okay? So this is what we now have now, an empty chart, all right? So if I want to add an indicator, I don't know if you can see the up of my screen, okay? Right at the up here, you see um, my zoom is actually blocking that, the zoom that is panning here. Let me see, is there where I can remove this thing? I don't know if you can see, if you can see what I'm showing you, but this zoom bar here at the top is actually blocking my screen at the top here. Can anybody see where I'm scrolling up and down at the top? Can you see anything there? No, can you see this one? You see, can you see this one minute, five minutes, and the rest? Can you see it at the top here? No. Oh, yes, it's there. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Um, because from my end, the zoom is actually blocking it. Okay. So um, right here. All right. Let me bring the drawing through again. So you know how we all got here, right? So from the watch list. We clicked on BTC USDT and it brought us to the chart. Okay. So it brings us back to the chart again. Now, on the chart here, what we want to do is, as you can see here, we are on the chart. All right. Uh, I want you to pay attention here. If I want to change from BTC USDT there, it shows BTC USDT, I can change it. Then you have my time frame and all of these other options there. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and clear this. Um, Writings here. Yeah. So this is my indicator, my trading view chart, all right, on the app. So we are trading on the BTC USDT. Now, when I scroll down here, you see one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, and the rest. This is my time frame, okay? This is my time frame, all right? So if I click on the more option down here, you see it pops up this way. Now, why we are having one minute, um, five minutes, and the rest on the screen there is because I have favorite some of those time frame. Okay, you see here the favorite icon is checked. You see for the five minutes it is checked. You see for the one hour it is checked. So whatever um, time time here time frame that I check, I go ahead and favorite. It will be showing up at that top there. Okay, once I click on it, I check it to favorite it it will be showing up at the top there. That's why you're seeing all of this time frame there. And this is for easy access, okay? This serves as my shortcut. So I don't need to come in here and click and go change the time frame again, okay? So if I scroll again, um, the up here to the right, this next one here is the different um, candlesticks that you can use, okay? If you want to use bars, and I go ahead and change it to bars, this is what you see, all right? So if I click on it again, if you want to use candles by default, this is what the Japanese candles is what you see. If I click on it again, if you want to use the, the halo candles, okay, this is how the halo candles looks like. If you want to use the, um, the Hakaneshi uh, candles, okay, this is how it looks like. So you can just go ahead and switch to any of this candle. If it is line you want to use, um, if it is point, whatever, or range, okay, Whatever um, um, you want to use, you just go ahead and click on it. This is how range look like, okay? You can go ahead and click on it and use that, all right? So um, preferably, I, I just like using the Japanese um, candlestick, the default candlestick, which is this, all right? So that is it. That is a word you can use that option to do. And then if I scroll again to the right, the next option here is indicators, all right? If you want to add indicators, and the rest, this is where you come and search for the indicators, okay? For instance, if you want to add the buy and sell indicator, all right, if you want to add the buy, the indicator that shows you where to buy and where to sell, um, that indicator, one of the indicators that I use, one of the favorite that I use, aside the ones that I pay, some of the free ones I use is called the Chandalia um, exit, okay? You see this first one here, and it, I, have, I have favorized it, all right? 
So all of these options you see here, these are all your favorite icons. So if you go ahead and check this star, it will favorite any of these indicators, which is why this is checked, all right? I have actually favorite that and it is on my favorite, okay? So if I close this search right now, let me close the search. This is what we wear. So if I go to the favorite here, all the indicators that are favorite, you will see all of them here, all right? So if I go again and search for that indicator, um, the chandelier exit gives us a buy and sell signals, okay? So if I click on it, it has been added to the chart. All I just need to do is just to close this. And you can see that that buy and sell indicator has been added to our chart, okay? You can see as it's giving us buy. So here it says sell. If you follow this indicator, you will not make um, at least I'm sure of a 70 to 80% win rate with this indicator, okay? So you just go ahead and use it. And I can just slide on this time here, on this um, price um, timeline here, okay? I can just drag it up and down to be able to scale the, the charts, okay? The candles, as you can see, as I'm dragging it, all right, it just scales it up and down, okay? So um, that is how you add indicator using that option. And then the next one is, um, I want to show you how to set up alerts, okay? You see this icon that up here that says alerts, okay? So let's say you want to set alert for your, for this particular um, indicator that I've added here, because you will not be here monitoring the, uh, the, the chart every now and then, okay? Now the token we are going to be setting this alert for, the coin is BTC USDT, all right? And you now select here, you have different options. I will show you that in a moment. And then the value will be on the price. If you want it to be every time, or you just want it to be once, you can go ahead and do that, okay? So let me just take this off the um, screen. So we are doing for BTC USDT, and then we want to do, um, no, not BTC USDT, we are doing for the, we want to be getting a lot, okay? When this actually pops up, this, um, we get a signal on this uh, chandelier exit, okay? So not the BTC, we are going to do it on this indicator we added, all right? And then the alert will be, how do you want it to be? The next option I clicked here is this one that says alert CE buy, okay? So if I click on it, you see other option. You have alert CE direction change. You have alert CE that I have set. You have crossing, you have crossing of, you have you know crossing down, you have um, greater than, less than, and all of these options you see here, okay? These are all the options you see, all right? So now the first thing you will need to do is how do you want to determine the, um, the movement of the market, okay? To be able to do that, before I come back to the alert, to be able to determine the movement of the market, we use what is called moving averages, okay? Now, moving average helps you to determine the trend of the market. If the market is in an upward trend, moving average will give you that. If it is in a downward trend, moving average will give you that. And to be able to add up that moving average to your chart, okay? Um, I'll come back here to the indicator tab again, all right? And I'll just type in here EMA, all right? So we have this moving um, average exponential. We'll just go ahead and click on it and it will be added to the chart, all right? The green line you are seeing here on the chart, is the moving average. So if I click on this EMA here, it pops up. So what I want to do here is to click on this um, setting icon here, all right? So I'll click on it to set up the moving, the, that particular indicator. So once I click on it, it comes up this way. And because I'm going to be trading on a lower time frame, I'll come back to the input and change the length from nine to 100, okay? Um, in most cases, some people use 200, they use 50 and so on. But this is what I prefer to use, okay? You can go with whatever you, because I'm trading on a lower time frame. For instance, if I'm trading on one hour, four hours, two, uh, one day, the daily time frame, I will use 200 here, yeah, but I'll be trading between five minutes and 15 minutes to scan the market. So I'll use 100 um, moving average, okay? And then the next thing I need to do is to make the line thicker and change the color and to do that, once I click on the setting icon, I'll come to the style, okay? I'll change the color from blue to white, all right? 
And this is where I can make the line thicker. Here where it says um, um, thickness, okay? These are all the sizes of the line I can make it, okay? So I'll go ahead and select the second option here or the third option and click okay. You see that it has changed to white and then the line is now thicker, all right? So now on the five minutes time frame, these candles have crossed above this moving average. So whenever the candles are trading above the moving average, we are going to be looking for a buy signal, a signal to long the market, okay? So when the candles are trading below this um, 100 moving average um, line, we are going to be looking for a signal to short or sell the market, all right? So that is how we use this. And that will now bring us back to the setting of the alert, okay? Now that these candlesticks are trading above this uh, moving average here, if I come back to the alert, I want the um, to set the alert for this chart we just added here, okay? That the for the chandelier exit um, indicator, okay? And then the alert will be the CE buy alert. Whenever there is a buy alert, we want the indicator to alert us and send us an email as well, okay? So um, do you want this once or you want it uh, one per bar? We can go ahead and use one per bar, okay? And um, the next thing you want to do, if, if I scroll here, scroll down here, yes, push notification, I want to use that. If I scroll down here, you can come in here and type the, what you want the message to be, okay? Here it says chandelier exit buy. I'll just leave it like that, but you can type whatever you want here. Um, chandelier exit, uh, I can say buy signal, um, signal just popped up, okay? So whatever it is, uh, you can go ahead and, and type, all right? And once you are done with this, the next thing is just to go ahead and click on create, and that alert will be created. So whenever we get a buy signal, the indicator will alert us, the trading view will alert us, and we equally receive an email. All right, we're equally going to receive an email. And if this is open, you will hear a beep. Okay, you hear a sound that is big, big that is, you know, a sound that will come up that, okay, you have actually received um, a signal. All right. And this case here, yeah, whenever we receive a buy signal, we'll just go ahead and take a buy, all right? And then we'll go to our Binance or to our OKS account, whatever exchange you're using, you go to the exchange and then set up your trade, put your stop loss and your take profit, and you are good to go, okay? So that is um, how you can set up a lot on the trading view. And the next thing I need to show you is if I, I move this, I shortcut this, that's why you are seeing them here, is all of this that you see here, okay? Um, all of these tools you see here, you can use any of these that you know. These are all your drawing tools, everything you see here, okay? You can use them. There are um, uh, different tools, drawing tools, measurement tools, and a whole lot that are here, which I'm not going to go through one after the other. But one thing I want to show you is this particular one, this one here, this is my measurement tool. And under that measurement tool, if I click on it, we have the long and short um, two, okay? The long position two, the short position two, we have the forecast two, we have the date range, the price range, all this can be used, you know, to measure your market. But majorly what I use the most is the long and the short position two, all right? Let's say I get a buy signal to long this market somewhere around here, okay? Um, sorry, I got to delete this. So we got a buy signal somewhere around there. So to use, in this case, I'm going to use a long position two. So if I click on this option, I'll go ahead and click on the long position two, and then I'll go ahead and click to add it up here, all right? So let me just expand this and then bring it down a little, expand this. So here, this is the candle where we got the buy signal, okay? So let's say we enter the market here. My take profit, um, if I drag this chain up here, if I hold and drag this up, where I want you to pay attention is um, actually where it says uh, risk slash, slash reward ratio, okay? Um, this is a three to one reward ratio, risk reward ratio, right? So you see it here. Um, that is why, you know, the phone, 
is not actually giving me all the liberty to do what I want to do. So if I just drag, let's say we enter this market somewhere around here. Uh, please help me to move yourself. I will tell you to move yourself when the time comes. Can you help me move yourself, please? All right. So um, I'll just drag this. Okay. Um, it's actually not giving me that freedom to. If it was on the desktop, I would have just you know easily. So just click and drag. Let's say we want to enter the market from here. Okay. So basically, what you use this long and, and short position tool for is that um, at the top here, let me bring my drawing to. At the top here, okay, you want to trace the price up here. So wherever you see the price is what you are going to set your take profit as. Okay. Now, the one that is gray out here is your entering price. That is what you are going to use to set your entering price as. Um, a, a limit order on your exchange, okay? And then the red one you are seeing here is going to be your stop loss, okay? Um, majorly, if you are using a, um, the risk reward ratio to be one to two, it means that you are losing, if you are losing one, one percent, let's say you are using $10 as your stop loss, then if it is one to two, it means that let's say you, are, you want to risk $10. If you lose $10, it means you are estimating to make $20 in return. Okay, that is one to two risk reward ratio. If it is one to five, you are risking ten dollars and you are making like fifty dollars. Okay, the profit is always either twice, three times, or four times, whatever you are risking. All right. So if this was supposed to be like a one to two risk reward ratio, then at two percent, two point five percent, you would have made profit in this as against um, just losing money. Okay. So somehow, to some extent. This um, indicator, the Chandelier exit indicator, is actually accurate to some extent. Okay, it gives you between um, 70 to 80 percent win rate. All right, it's something I've been using. Um, it's one of the strategies that I use, and I equally recommend, most especially if you're a beginner. Okay, you don't really need to start doing uh, using hundreds of indicators before you can trade the market confidently. You can use this to trade forex. You can use it to trade crypto or stock and so on. All right. Um, so basically, that is this is where I will end. If you're able to use this um, this platform to this extent, then you should be able to make to be making some profit for yourself. All right. Um, this is where I will end it. Then, if you now have questions, um, it is now time to unmute yourself. Okay, you unmute yourself to ask questions, not unmute yourself to play music. All right. So unmute yourself and ask questions, and maybe throw your questions. I will throw more light. Um, on anything that I didn't mention yet. All right. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. I said, please, how do you get this trading view? How do you arrive? How do you get it? The two, the two itself. I came in a bit, a few minutes after you started. I will send the link for anybody who wants to download it. I will send the link. You go and download the, the trading view. You just okay, download thank it you, either from your app store or your play store. You can just go ahead and download it from there. Okay, okay. Thank you. What are the name of the indicator? The indicator is Chandalia Exit. Chandalia Exit. I've mentioned it like 100 times in this video. It's Chandalia Exit. Or you can just type Exit on your, when you are searching for the indicator, just type Exit and you will see Chandalia Exit. That's the name of the indicator. Please, can you mm -hmm. type it in the chat section? Hello, sir. All right. Any any other question? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Um, sorry, sir. I want to ask because I came in a bit late as well. So I don't know the time frame you use in this your analysis. Um, I mentioned that when I'm scalping the market, I trade between five and fifteen minutes. I don't go more than that. It is only when I'm doing swing trading that I go with one hour, four hours, uh, two hours, and the daily time frame. All right. So if it is scalping the market, if it is that um, I, I just use five minutes and fifteen minutes. Right now, what you are looking at is on the five minutes time frame. Okay, sir. And I have a question again. Sorry. Okay. Like, sir, for example, if you are trading, let me just say, you are trading with 
you are trading with twenty dollars in a trade, and uh, how much how much are you willing to lose or to lose in that particular trade? Like how are you to know the amount you are supposed to you are you are you are willing to lose using any leverage, either ten x or twenty x? Okay, I have a trade that is running on Bybit. Yes, on Bybit. Okay. All right. So if I come to derivatives, all right. So I have a trade that is currently running and it is running at lost. Okay. So um, this trade is currently running. And if I click on the trade, it pops up this way. Okay. Yeah. When it pops up. You see that I already set up um, take profit and stop loss. Okay. Please. I already set up take profit and, and stop loss. Okay. So if I go ahead and click on that take profit and stop loss. Right. This is where it opens up. Okay. Now I am trading Dogecoin. And um, because I am risking some money to trade Dogecoin, if I go ahead and say, okay, I want to take profit when Dogecoin gets to, um, let's say 40, 40 cents. Okay. This is what no. it gives you. It gives you, please just move no. yourself so that I'm able to focus and, and show you what I want to show you. So um, if you are following up now, this is Dogecoin. Okay. When I clicked on that take profit and stop loss stuff, it brought us here, right? Now, when it brought us here, let me bring this my type into you. Let's say I want to take profit at 40 cents. Okay, here, pay attention here. Um, if you read what this is saying is that the expected profit if this market is 40 cents is this. This is 170. That's what we are going to make as profit. All right. Now, if I go ahead and put stop loss, if I go ahead and put stop loss as zero point, uh, let's say I want to use zero point, um, let me go ahead and use the 0 0.09, okay? And I click on, um, sorry, let me use 0 0.09 because I entered this market at uh, something I can't remember, at uh, 10 cent or there about, I can't remember. So if I want to stop, put my stop loss at 0 0.09, it means that if this market goes against me, this is how much I am risking to lose, $99. All right, that is how much it is going to cost me. That is what I'll be losing. All right, so the stop loss determine the amount of money you are risking. So I can I just bet like um, two hundred dollars to carry out this trade, okay? And then if it goes in my favor, I'll make six hundred. Then if it goes against me, out of that two hundred that I've, I've um, placed here to enter this trade, I'm going to lose about 99, almost $100 from the $200, okay? That is if the market goes against me, but if it doesn't go against me, it means that there's every tendency that I can make um, this profit that is here, all right? Currently, the market has not, is, is going against me, but it has not hit my stop loss, okay? Because what you are seeing right here is um, minus, um, what you are seeing here is minus 33%, $33 or thereabouts. So it means that it needs to get to $100 before the market will go um, against me. All right? So basically, that is how, when you are setting your stop loss, it determines uh, the, how much you are ready to lose, okay? And in this case, let me just demonstrate this again. Let's say if, if um, that um, $99 is too much for you, Okay, you can come in here and say when it gets to 10 cents. Okay, if I put 10 cents, it means that I'll be losing 74. Then if I come in here and say, okay, when it gets to 12 cents, it means that I'll be losing 24. If it gets to 12 cents, uh, three cents or thereabout, I'll be losing $15. So you can just go ahead and play around with this. Let's say 13 cents. If it gets to 13 cents, I'll be losing 0 0.2, that's 24 cents. Okay. So you just click um, and play around this um, and see what works for you. And you go ahead and work with that, all right? So that is how you determine your stop loss. Take the, the, the sorry, what you are risking, the stop loss determines that. And another way to be able to do that is using this long or short position tool that I just shared with you right now, okay? So once you go ahead and add up that tool, okay? You can say, okay, you want to take profit here and then you want to stop um, put your stop loss, 
somewhere here. So when you go ahead and input these prices, okay, these are the prices you are going to input into your exchange. Okay, this is your entering price. This is your stop loss. And then this is your take profit. So when you input all of these prices into your exchange, whatever the result gives you, that is what you will be making as profit and you'll be losing as your stop loss. I don't know the guy that asked that question if this is clear enough. I have tried my best to try to explain this thing. It should be um, okay for you to know how to do that. All right. Any other question? Hello, coach. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah, please. The the first record you made, you did not upload it to the group so that we can go through it. And this one too, I came late. So I don't know where you started. I don't know where you started, and I don't know. I just enter at the at this end time. And I want to know more about the indicator. So if you can upload the video so we can go through it. All right, all right. For the sake of those who join later, I'll try to upload the video and post it on the group. 